How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video on the Nissan Qashqai. As you can see, it's an absolutely glorious day in sunny Blantyre. So we've decided to jack it up outside. We're the only ones here. Blantyre garage are away. Oracle's out doing a mobile job. So we've got plenty of space to work outside in the glorious sunshine. So first things first, let's swap out the suspension arm in the structure arm. Yes. And let's get this thing driving straight. Oh, if you haven't noticed, we test fitted the second hand wing. Looks like it's spot on. Colour match, spot on. So that saved us a load of work. So yeah, let's crack on, get an arm and a suspension leg on it and see if this thing drives straight. Right, so it's the next day guys, and we've got the Qashqai back on its wheels. As you've seen in the time lapse, we got the front strut off, we got the suspension arm done. As you can see, the wheel's sitting a lot straighter now. And I did manage to give it a wee run in the yard and back, and it seems to be driving straight as well. So, I think the biggest problem was, well obviously, the suspension arm lost a bush in the accident. And it's got a slight bend on it. But the biggest issue was that here. Look at that, I don't know if you'll see it. Twist it ring, Charlie. You can just see the bend on the shock. Oh, well, if you see it for you there or not. Yeah. So a bit bent on. Yeah, so we replaced both of them. Car's now straight. It's time to start putting the front end back together. Um, I think we can pretty much, the only bit of paint we're going to need to do on this is a bumper. Yeah. So I think we can pretty much build this all up, test fit the bumper, see how it's going to look. Make sure the lights are working, make sure the panels line up. And then that's the front end done. And then we can get it, it painted and it's, it's, it's finished, isn't it? Well, other than other the dash. Other than the dash and the windscreen. That's for another video. And maybe a service, look. Yeah. Look at that oil, the uh, air filter. What colour is the oil? Is that the dipstick? Yeah. Oh, it's black. Oh, it's black. Yeah, I think we'll be, I think we'll be doing a wee service on this as well. But yeah, this is going to be an awesome car when it's finished. Awesome car and cheap for a cash guy. Yeah. Right, guys, let's crack on, and we'll start by putting the crash bars on and the plastic trims. This is quickly coming together and turning into a cash guy again. Charlie's got the headlight back in, all the crash bars are on, radiator flaps are in. Parking, that's just parking sensors and fog light, isn't it? Yeah. For some reason, the fog light limb is completely missing. I know the fog light limb. Parking sensor limb's completely missing for this side. I thought it was on the old look, bumper, look, but it's not. We've got a mysterious plug here. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what this one's for. I've looked at the back of the bumper, nothing there. I wonder if it's an ambient temperature sensor that's yeah, also missing. A temperature that's meant uh, a, a wee thing that's meant to screw in the bumper. Yeah, because I've known that, that must be what that is, because I've not seen one anywhere else. It must be a temperature sensor. Some cars have got them in the wing mirrors, but anyway. We've got the new bumper here. And what we're going to do is test fit the fog lights. fog lights that we picked up. Now this, this isn't a genuine bumper. This is an insurance approved aftermarket bumper. So hopefully 
The fit should be good. It looks good. The shape's nice. It's nice rigid plastic. It's no the cheap fiberglassy stuff. So it's got a bit of flex. It's a. Uh, it should be good, and because it's insurance approved, it should fit unlike the cheap aftermarket ones. So hopefully it'll be all good, but let's flip over. We're going to put the fog lights in, just to test fit them and make sure they fit. I've ordered that trim. We can test fit the other trim on this side, but I'm pretty sure it'll be alright. There is. I have taken these pieces off, but I don't know if you want to keep these off until we paint it. Yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah. Um, there is a wee scuff on it here. That I'm going to have to fix. I don't know if that happened in shipping or whatever, but it does need one wee repair. But other than that, I was going to primer it all anyway because this is black primer and obviously it's a white car, so I want to use a nice light primer. Yeah, so if we get like a light grey or a cream one, yeah, well, I've got grey up there, should go down and colour match a bit better. Yeah, that's the plan. I took the clips off the old bumper, so we just need to slot some of them in. What holds it in the bottom there, Charlie? Uh, two clips. Was it? Oh, is that the clips that are still in the old bumper? Yeah. I've not taken them off the, yet. Uh, the green ones. Yeah. Just leave them off for now. We'll get the bolts in. Yeah. Just to make sure everything lines up fine. Because we will take these back out for painting. Because we need to run fine line masking tape right across the top of them. Well then, let's set it up and make sure. Wait a minute, Charlie. Yeah. Let's lob one in this side now. Yeah, where did this go? This one here, isn't it? Is that one in that one? Put it the right way, Steve. It. It's even harder to do things one handed, isn't it, when you're trying to hold the camera at the same time? Is it, isn't it your new favourite thing to say? I'm trying to speak properly because I keep getting around. I keep getting shouted at for being overly Scottish. Right, there we go. Fog lights are in. I'm not going to bother putting the uh, parking sensor mountains and stuff on the now because I'll need to take all of that off to paint it again. I literally just want to check and make sure everything fits the way it should. Um, and I want to be able to test the lights to make sure all the lights work so that we don't have any more wiring issues. But yeah, I'm impressed with the quality of this bumper. It's quite good. Right guys, here we go, look. It's looking like a cash guy again. Charlie, I think one of these in satin black would look yeah. amazing. The whole thing in satin black. Yeah, you do. So we've still got a wee bit of lining up of the wing to do on this side. It's not completely there yet. Um, we've tested. This is an aftermarket trim, and it fits pretty nice. The bumper, like oh, I said, what was the company called? Tongyang. Tongyang or something. Tong, Tong yeah. Um. The bumper, like I said, is an aftermarket one, but it's insurance approved, so it looks really, really good. Uh, we've not got the bottom bracket on that headlight yet either. So, yeah, I'm just going to check all the lights now, pack it up and make sure all the lights work, and then we can strip it all back off for paint. Look at Charlie there, mate. How many warning lights have we got now? Airbag, tire pressure warning, parking sensor fault. The front radar and the collision warning, that's gone now. Right, here we go. Side lights. Headlights. Main beam. Front forks. Hey, thumbs up for Charlie. Tells me it's all good. Let's see some indicators. All good. Let's go and have a wee look at this. All the thumbs up mean we're all good. Yeah, all good. Both 
Excellent. TRLs are all good. TRLs are flashing because they're LEDs. It's only on camera, they're no flashing in real life. Fog lights are all good, headlights, main beam was all good as well, yeah. You were flashing me, I was, aye. Yeah. So good. That's it. Excellent. It's a cash guy again, big man. We, we need get we need get the uh, the parking sensors in. Make sure all the, they're they're all good. Well, the only faults left are it's parking sensor it. faults, um, the airbag lights on, and the tire pressure monitors on. So the the front radar fault and everything that's all away now. Good. Good. Screen washers work as well. So I got the squishy pipes wired up. Go and test the screen wash, Charlie. It was a 50-50 chance whether I got them lined up right first time. I was nearly painting the door there. Just pull it towards you. Yeah, there we go. Screen wash is all good. It was a 50-50 chance whether I got the pipes in the right way. And I did, so that's another one. Excellent. As you can see guys, we've got the new wheel on just to see how it's at. And we haven't put the inner wheel arch liner in yet. That's still sitting over here. That again, that was a, a nice aftermarket one we got. So that's ready to go in when, we've, when we're doing the final rebuild. But yeah, until the final rebuild, there's not really much more we can do to this because I need to get it stripped and painted so that's all the test fitting done all the crash supports fit nice everything that we've got fits nice this needs to be done next Charlie's really looking forward to this job isn't he? not really well it will be an experience shall we open it and have a look see what's yeah. in it yeah I think so we've not opened this yet guys I don't even know if it's the right one but this should be the airbag kit for this, so come on Charlie, get your knife out. That's uh, it might be the crash module. There's multiple Open it and see. Yep. That yeah. looks correct. That looks right. Yeah, good stuff. Is that the dashboard there, bag, or is that? That'll be the dashboard there, bag, won't it? Or is that seat belts? Yeah. I thought they'd have left the dashboard there, bag, in the dashboard. Is that my knife? Yeah, here. Hold this a wee second. Looks like the right dashboard as well. Yep, the airbag's still in here. This must be seat belts in. Oh. That's the crash module. No, this is one seat belt. Oh, that bit comes with a, a piece of trim. This one doesn't it? Right. So that's one seat belt and the buckle. Right, cool. You want to have a look at this one? Yep. Where's the cross module? That's the other seatbelt. Have I left something hiding? Oh, wait, they don't send you a new one. That's a speaker for the dash. 
Oh, you send the the airbag ECU away. You probably send them, and they'll reset it for you. They get reloaded. Yeah. So look, the two seat belts. We've got the dash. We need to pull the old seat belts, pull the crash module, yeah. send them back. Then we'll get our crash module back, and all of this can go into that, and then we can get the windscreen done. Yeah. And the great thing about having this here, the now, is we can see what needs to come off, where all the bolts are, and everything like that. So it's so much easier to have this here, so we can see what to take off to get it out. Yeah, than just having to strip it as you go. You yeah. can see all the different mounting points. So there's there's one top tip. There's one top tip that um, I learned off your salvage rebuilds. Rob, if you're going to take a dashboard out and replace it, make sure you do it all in the one day so that you can take one out, put it all back into the one day when it's still fresh in your head and it's no lying about for ages with bolts lying everywhere. Right guys, so that's it for this episode. We've got the cash kai back together, it's looking very, very good. Next, we'll be stripping it back down, ready for paint. Um, but what I might do is we'll just paint these. I've seen me paint loads of times, so I'll probably just paint the bumper and then the next cash guy video we'll do the full refit and then the dashboard. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Sounds like a good Maybe. Unless the dashboard Maybe. ends up being a video in itself and I the full would. refit being a video in itself. Yeah. I want to see if we can film them at least time lapse of people who have a couple and then. Uh, so yeah. That could, could be quite good. As, as much as it looks almost finished, there's still quite a bit of work to do. Yeah. This is literally just a test fit. So yeah, I'm we happy with that. I'm happy with the refit. I've re go tested that for a couple of days and it drives really, really well. It's uh, almost ready. It's pretty much ready to go. This. Ignore this. <laughs> Ignore it. This thing's still dead. I think we're going to have to put a high pressure pump on this. So, we were out bleeding the fuel. Yeah, that is one thing. Look at this. There's one thing about this yard. Look. Can you see it? This yard is going to be super, super dusty in the summer. But hopefully, it will be as well. Hopefully. Right. Anyway, guys. Thanks again for watching. Massive thanks for all the support in the channel. Charlie. Sorry, say that last <laughs> <laughs> That's it guys. Massive thanks for all the support in the channel. Charlie. Like, comment, subscribe and we'll see you next time.